titties. I guess I've gotten, I've gotten quite a lot of the achievements. Mm -hmm. Join. <laughs> hello, hello, hi, D type, hi, Kev. How are you guys? How are ya? supposed to work today, but I took the day off because I was still oh, not feeling great, but I'm feeling better, which is good. But uh, this game got another update, <laughs> like a week ago, <laughs> which is very funny. Yeah, 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 I'm feeling better. I, I still feel a bit, a bit sore, but I'm making it. old man can still can still do it. Thank you, I appreciate it. got updated more but that is yeah <laughs> yep yep what, what game were you saying you were saying you were gonna play uh... you're gonna play like blood <laughs> listen it's an old you know Fortress 2. Uh, 
And then I think I have like one of the Splinter Cell games on my old ass original GameCube that I played. And I think that is like the extent of my shooters, quote unquote. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Doom, but harder. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think I could handle regular Doom. There has been one game that I have been, like, I've been seeing a lot of people, like, uh, what is it? Ultra Kill? I've been seeing a lot of very interesting things about that. It's, oh, uh, I forgot it, like, recenters itself on me. <laughs> don't get you started on Ultra Kill? Oh boy. <laughs> uh, let's customize. I think we have. Let's see. We still don't have C. Somehow we got we got D before we got C. I don't know how that works. But yeah, this is World of Horror, for anyone who doesn't know. This is a, uh, I, th I think it's just like a one-person team. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've heard Ultra Kill's really good. Uh, Ultra Kill. Oh, electric eels, what the hell? What the hell captions? Um, but yeah, it's a, uh... Like a very, it's a it's supposed to be very reminiscent of like older PC games, and also it's supposed to be it's uh, inspired a lot by Junji Ito, which I did like, and then he did uh, NFTs, so. <laughs> It's, uh, it's a learning experience, huh? Oh, thank you, Buttspot. Thank you. Don't get butt started. So true. So true. So wise. Let's see. Uh... Feels like this looks different than before. the last time. Did they change it up here? Uh, we'll just stick with the random. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980s. Something strange is happening in our town. Old figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. Hey, listen, it's... You know? It's a, it's a hot girl summer. You gotta do what you gotta do. Ra <laughs> the rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Like women in bikinis. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Oh yeah, that's probably very... I, I still haven't watched Stranger Things. <laughs> Then again, I don't watch too many shows. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in the realms beyond. Also, look, we got, we got, a, little, we got a little guy in our, our back seat. Look, he's saying hi. Oh, the game music's a tad loud compared to me. Okay, let me turn the music down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely also inspired by that. I know there are, um... Uh, is that better? Um, I know there's actually several, um... Well, there's actually at least one, uh, event <laughs> that is just like, oh, you're, uh, you, like, follow this, like, you're like, oh, this, this, um... 
person is is dressed up in like cult attire and we were like worried about what he's doing so we follow him to his house and it's like oh he's just playing D&D &D. <laughs> oh it's fantastic old train slows down and stops at its last station the end of the world is at hand you finally arrived in the doomed town But yeah, how, how have you been, Kev? I don't I don't remember if you I don't I think you weren't here for last night's stream, which makes sense. It was kind of a impromptu thing. <laughs> As oh wait, oh my button. Uh, oh, this is somebody new. Yeah, no, that's completely fine. Uh Honestly? Honestly. I'd recommend playing the game that I did play on your own first. It's it's really good actually. And uh it's really easy to like all you have to do is download it. Let me see if I can give me one second. I'm gonna like get up the uh download page. Give me a second. Oh, stop that. Hey, you, stop that. What is this? Stop your shenanigans. But yeah, it was Perret M. Heru. Uh, what was it? For the Prisoners is like the full title. Um, I talked a little bit about it. Um, it was made in 1998, and uh, it's. It like won. Uh, an award in like a what like ASCII challenge or something like the let's see oh it's actually a tumbler for the memories of fear oh they were tired oh man uh that's unfortunate uh well they did some real good work they did some real good work it's unfortunate uh here. I can post it in the chat. Sorry that I'm like... But there is also, if anyone did actually um, watch me play, there is of course... I... If you're squeamish about gore, uh, might not be the game for you. Um, but it is very good. And I don't want to spoil how my playthrough went. Oh, good, good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, yeah, please. Of course you don't have to, but yeah. Yeah, it was very cool. And I'm definitely- I need to upload the, uh... The... VOD to YouTube. Before I forget. Let's see. So, starts with Family Curse. Okay. Something terrible is stalking Jury. And with each passing day, its presence is getting nearer. I don't think I've won with the seventh curse. But yeah, it's really cool. I think I beat it in like four hours. And I took my time. <laughs> I did save scum a little bit, but that was mostly just like, I know what to do, but like, finding out exactly how to do it. But yeah, it was, um... <clears throat> it was like this... Wait, what is this stuff? Okay, timeline A... That's right, that's right, okay. Well, let's start. Let's start our, uh, let's start our run. It's been a, it's been a little, it, it hasn't been too long, actually. Because I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna finally beat these, uh mysteries that I hadn't unlocked and then I was like well I guess I won't come back to this for a while unless something updates and then <laughs> it updated <laughs> let's see uh if we're starting with a new person we probably just want to go with Athu Athulazif uh this one's just the easiest well have we beat I think we've beaten all of the other ones I think we've beaten them all so it doesn't really matter 
Media reports on various people with seemingly supernatural skills. Could it have any connection with the news about stars disappearing from the night sky? But yeah, if you're familiar with uh, Junji Ito, this one is basically uh, Remina. So, the big ass planet. <laughs> Family is cursed, everyone around you will die. Okay, what's up this on the run? Until the horror catches you. Oh dear. Leveling up costs 50 experience less. Okay. I don't mind that. That seems good. The horror is slowly... Okay, wow. That was... That's fun. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, okay. The curse continues to follow me. So... Oh. We start with a spell. That's unfortunate. Uh, what is this? Mind Drain? Give it the suck. Oh, wait, 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 though. Will that not reduce my max reason? Because of Athelazith's gaze? Anyways, let's see. Is there anything else? city is changing fast. Well, first, let's get rid of the cops. Fuck you. Oh, wait, I think I still have my, uh... Let's see, is that still working? Just make sure there's nothing new. Okay, let's get into the actual game. Check your mailbox, it's empty. Okay, so, first thing we're gonna do is that. That's actually not great. Uh, I know there was... There's something new that we can do. I don't know if it's from here, but we can like... I, th I think we can take an action from our home or something. Oh, we have- oh, we have two- magic sweater. <laughs> I love it. Uh, this game's fantastic. Okay, um... Nice dance. Okay, uh, let's take a bath. Uh, a little bit of experience. Watch the Tavu. Uh, let's take a look through the people. Hey, we don't see anything weird. Let's go. Alright, and then I think it's time to start a new mystery. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connected. You can tackle these mysteries in any order you want. Aware that decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. The horror. So we've got. Let's re-roll. Because they're supposed. Wait. It might be, though. Hmm. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah. Uh, there it is. So there's there's the new mystery. Freakish fable of a frightening flood. Okay. That's right, we got the tapes, but... The tapes still can't be, like, restored or whatever. Ah! It's annoying. <laughs> uh, it is. It is somewhat annoying playing a game that is still, you know, in beta. I, I, it's like technically. I mean, there's there's definitely enough of a game, but it's like there's still some things that aren't like that are just teasing for the future, and it hurts. It hurts. Oh, it hurts. It hurts my soul. Let's check this out. So last time we checked out uh, two other mysteries. So this time we just have one. Let's see how it goes. A group of researchers from a university in Tokyo are researching a curious rock formation. It was discovered a few weeks ago by tourists in a village next to Shiokawa. 
you read about it in a newspaper. The sudden disappearance of the tourists was the subject of school gossip for a few days, but ultimately no one was found. Uh oh. The rock formation must somehow be connected to the events in your town. Feeling that the researchers can help you, you decide to pack yourself and visit the uh, village yourself. I don't know why. It so the, the the creator of this game, his his first language is not English. So there are a few uh, problems sometimes, but it's overall not bad. Uh, Kaibara Village. Okay, I guess I guess I guess we have to go to the bus stop. <laughs> Oh, I should have done a different mission, or a different, uh, mystery first. The bus suddenly stops as the driver opens the door. Reluctantly, you notice you're still far from the village itself. However, before you can ask any questions, the bus's doors close. That's just a regular-ass bus driver. They don't give a shit. <laughs> The old bus drives away. You see the village's building in the distance, hoping it won't rain too much. You stop to look at the clouds. Suddenly, you hear splashing sounds behind you. Yeah, that's strange, you thought. You were the only passenger on that bus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, sisters. Sweaty assailant. Oh god, he plays melee. But yeah, so this is the combat of the game. Let me, let me test to see how this how this spell will do. What? No, because it's it also regains me a reason, so I don't want to use that quite yet. Okay, so I can get that. So if I do one, two. Uh, I guess we'll save that sequence. We have one guaranteed kick. I... <laughs> we missed so much! At least he's only doing one stamina's worth of damage, so that's not very tough to deal with. And we beat his ass! Let's go! Managed to defeat the mysterious assailant, but he flee he flies into the woods before you can tear that mask off. Who was he? Uh, let's see, so, goal, so there's the inn, and there is the Curious Rock Formation. Let's take a rest at the inn. Enter the inn, hoping you'll find the research team there. All but one room are empty. The last one, you find a visibly stressed man, Matsuda-san, the expedition leader. Thank God you came! I've been attacked by the villagers and got separated. I'm worried for my colleagues. Things we've learned here too dangerous. We must escape this place as soon as possible. Let's see if there's anything in okay. uh, Stop flashing. Stop that. Last time I saw my team was at the school. We used an empty classroom to keep our research notes and equipment. We should look there for clues. Or we must flee before the river level gets too high. Or else... So I guess this is the other, uh, let's see if we can rest. <laughs> we can escape the village. Uh, let's, let's not do that quite yet. Uh, so is there like a, a break into school? Hmm. Curious Rock Formation first, I guess. You can see Curious Rock Formation from the bridge uh, leading to the village. The researchers are nowhere to be seen. Did the weather scare them off? Uh-oh. I don't like the spirals. I know about spirals. 
Our pillars are older than the village itself. Couldn't find any information about them or the rituals they're connected with. Oh, I guess that's supposed to be like lightning. That's what those flashes are. It's just kind of annoying. <laughs> but I, I do understand it a little better now. Uh, all the research notebooks. Let's break into school. Let's go. Uh, well, we're gonna... Oh, hello. Enter the school bathroom to wash your face with water. Sudden noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors has opened on its own. Let's get the fuck out of here. You might be paranoid, but there's no way you're risking an encounter with a ghost here. We should find the empty uh, classroom Matsuda san was talking about. Citrus are gone, but hopefully the nuts you've found will help you locate them. There's water levels rising. Oh, and the horror is getting closer. Great, great, great. Oh boy. Okay, research is missing. Kaori Yuto, linguist. Sakino Okada, geologist. Hiroki Shinohe, Shinohe, theologist. Okay, so we need to find. Uh, I guess let's start with the village. Try to find... Oh, oh, we are wet. Trail to an abandoned Shinto shrine is overgrown and steep. However, oh, it could be an important place to investigate. Uh, we have all right strength. Let's, let's try the quick route. God damn it. You hurt your knee badly when you step on a uh, loose stone and fall down. Back to the village to get the injury checked. That's just my luck. Uh, okay. What's... Uh... No one answers when you knock at Professor Takeuchi's door. This is odd, since he's usually he's normally punctual about appointments. Smell of blood tells you something's wrong. Let's get some items. Let's. Oh, we got a broken bottle, I guess. Which one? What does that use? Dex? Oh, wow, our Dex is ass. Our Dex is terrible. Uh. Is there like a. Can I keep track of the. Like, river. Is there anywhere I can keep track of how much the river is, uh... The river level is rising? That would be nice. Oh, we, I forgot we had research notes. Those are related to the cult of t a fertility goddess. People here refuse to help us with the work and forbid us from researching the village's archives. Oh, that's all we get. Okay. I guess I'll keep it in my inventory just in case I, like, need it. Investigating a field. Yay, the horror is getting closer. It's in the middle of a field. Frozen in terror. Rip in our reality shows the horrible future of our planet. Seeing a familiar figure looking back at you. Can't help but wonder if it's our world that's just the illusion. Fuck it. You and the figure get closer to the portal. Ready to swap places. Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness. <laughs> Until something pulls you towards the light. Deserted temples overlook the giant corpses of forgotten beasts. With no priests to harvest it, the blood is slowly flooding the valley. I think if we climb the temple, we get some stamina back where we lose some reason. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. Oh, we found one person! Are they, are they, like, with me? No. God damn it. Uh, uh, let's go to the school first. 
Oh, wonderful. Catch a glimpse uh, of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. Gasp in pure horror. Twisted faces, impossible angles, and enormous monoliths make you sick. Oh, we... Wow. Okay, that was easy for that one. Uh, let's rest in the inn. I found, like, two of them. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Alright, let's rest. Okay. And now, let's go to the forest. It would be cool if we, like, talked to them. Oh, shit. Hearing some rustling behind a bush, you decide to hide behind a tree. There's about three men, each armed with a rifle. You're obviously looking for something. Or someone. Uh, let's reveal ourselves. Whoo! Okay, that could have gone badly. Ha 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 ha. Hey there, says the hunter. This forest is not safe at this hour. What are you doing here? I asked about the danger, but they just hand you a flashlight and point you to the nearest road. Something tells you you shouldn't get on their nerves and go. Yep, because we can get shot, and it hurts a lot. Oh no. Oh well, we got two of them. River's level is too high. And waves crash against the village's buildings. Run before the water devours you. Oh. But we got we got two of them. That's that's not bad. Well ha 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 we have to escape. Uh hmm. Matsuda san, the expedition leader, holds a suitcase in one hand and has a knife in the other. Our only chance, let's go. All the villagers have disappeared. Where are they? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Hello? As you get closer to the bridge leading out of the village, Matsuda-san suddenly stops. I know this tune. Before you can react, he begins to undress and runs into the darkness. Shocked, you begin to hear a faint moaning coming from the rock formation. What you see there feels unreal. Listen, listen, if they just wanted to do an orgy, they could have told us. All the villagers are naked. They are dancing around the pillars as something slowly emerges from the river. Ah! Hello? Uh... Uh, they did say it was a fertility goddess, I guess. Uh, what, what options do we have? Oh. Okay, so we got two of the people, so they- Oh, they give us- they give us bonuses in this fight. Okay. Interesting. Also, what the fuck? Uh, so I'm guessing this is the- Yeah. So this is the fertility goddess. 33 HP. And then... This is the... Uh, do we have any... So a lot of these times... Yeah, I am... Mm, you know? <laughs> I just realized it... It really do be a fertility... A fertility goddess, huh? Kind of, kind of veiny, kind of... Sure is a shape. Sure is shaped like that, huh? Uh, do we have any unique actions? A lot of times you'll get unique actions for, uh... Yeah, we can't run from this encounter. What a surprise. It doesn't look like it. Uh... I'm guessing I won't have... Oh. oh, okay. That's not bad. Uh. Yeet. And then let's see about our spells. Let's see. Let's see how they do. So we have mind drain. Uh. So this won't cast cost reason, but will it reduce our max reason? 
It didn't increase our doom, so I don't think... I think it did reduce our max reason. Um, let me see again. Yeah, it did. Okay, that's fine, though. Because um, we can use that. So it, they, oh, they both do reason damage, though. That's uh, unfortunate. Um, but yeah, what are we doing? We're doing nine damage each turn because of this uh, plus one combat damage. Geologist is kind of... All right, let's beat, let's beat it to death. Okay, so if we use this, and then if we land all the hits, which actually I should do it like this. Just tap it once, tap it once. So all of them have like, what, a 90% chance now? God damn it. Oh, and it regains health. Great. You want to join the fertility dance? No, I'm good. I'm good. Oh. Ah. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, the mad ritual dance heals. Oh, great. I love that. Hmm. Okay, that means I do need to beat up the villagers. I was hoping I could just defeat the, the big, big up fuck off thing, but no. Oh, I'm badly bleeding. Great. Great. Love that. Love that for me. Mmm. That's good. Woo! Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was, uh... Getting that geologist really saved our ass. Okay, so we get... Ooh, what is this? Uh, plus two dexterity. Plus two percent doom. Minus five percent doom. Let's get quick thinking. Yeah, that went pretty well. Um, and then... Yeah, especially for our first attempt at a... At one of these. Pretty good. Muy bueno. <laughs> Not too shabby. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do here? Uh, do, 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 do. Mm, uh, let's let's uh, let's give us more perception because I feel like that's what we're gonna like have a weapon for. Yeah, I know. Sorry, sorry, villager guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Okay, uh, resolve combat. The eldritch monster disappears as sudden as it appeared. All that's left of Kaibara village is a group of deeply confused villagers. Sadly, it's too late for Matsuda-san. The research team has parked their jeep on, the, on a hill that wasn't affected by the flood. They drive you back to Shiokawa and promise that they will alert the university. Ending B. You can just, you can, you just can hope. The help will arrive in time. Okay. How do you get ending A? Do you have to rec re uh, save everyone? I, I You probably have to save it. Oh, you probably... Hmm. Probably have to save at least one person and then escape with the... Uh, guy. Alright, let's see what the effect we get. Okay, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Alright, we got one P. Let's get some extra reason. Our max reason is uh, not doing super hot, but that's okay. Um. 
let's take a look through the peephole. Someone is standing in the shadow, watching your door. Lovely. Hey, bud. Very fun. <laughs> okay, it's been raining since morning. Okay, that was a... I didn't really like that one as much as the other two uh, new ones, but maybe that's just because I didn't get, like, the best ending. <laughs> Let's do this one. We do have a lot of funds, so this one should actually be good. Uh, so this is just a Blair Witch reference. <laughs> uh, three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and the legends of the nearby forest. I am very interesting, uh, interested as to what will happen when the horror does appear. That'll be fun. On the first anniversary of the event, a suspicious man has started asking questions. Claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. Except your parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he? And what did the students discover out there? Okay, so what I do need to, uh... There is something I need to buy. Specifically for this. So, hello, can of acid. Don't worry about it. Uh, don't worry. Don't think about it too much. Uh, and then, hold on, there was something I could... What was it? I thought there was, like, some way I could prepare. There's, like, a, an option for that or something. That would get... Hmm. Maybe I need to unlock it. I do need a weapon, though. Uh, I think... What are their perception weapons? What are their perception weapons? I don't remember which weapons use perception. Because that's our like only good stat. So we kinda need to well, let's uh we need to investigate the mansion twice. So let's do that. Let's do that now. Uh oh shoot. So let's put away these, because we don't need them. Put them on. The building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly a stone pillar bursts through the floor where you stood just seconds ago. Noticing the arcane symbols painted on the stone, take a step closer. Let's study the symbols. Ah, shit. Legends say the witch was buried alive for kidnapping and murdering two children. Points you in a specific direction, potentially saving you some time. Not cool. Not cool. Not a girl boss move, I do have to say. Trail growing cold. Might be time for a different approach. A similar case have occurred in the past. A trip to the library might be a good idea. Ah, it's a knowledge check again. Nothing uses perception. Alright, well, here's the most important character in the game. So, yes, this is a dog shop. Um, but there's something even more important. so important. <laughs> it's the most important thing. Uh, let's get a map, I guess. I was hoping to get a weapon, but uh, I, it's very good. Bark, bark, bark. Barfk, barfk. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery and shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Uh, let's continue looking, because we have high perception. 
God fucking damn it. <laughs> Can't seem to find the right tombstone and waste a lot of time before finally admitting defeat. I have nine perception! How did I how did I fail that? Everyone in the village is unsettling unsettlingly friendly. The farmer points you in an old stone. The missing group supposedly started the uh, forest trip there. Ah, good. 60% of the way to the... Oh! Otherwise bleak village. A look of the most beautiful flower patch surprises you. you. Get closer to compliment the gardener. You stop, hearing weird sniffling sounds. Bro, he's just... The, she's just... They're just trying. They're just gardening, man. We don't need to beat them up. They're just gardening. Okay, maybe, maybe not. They did just stab us with shears and, and, and hit us with a spade, so maybe, maybe not. Oh, let's go. Another level. Okay. Oh, this character's interesting. Um, what is... Plus two knowledge. That would actually be... Oh, hold on. But... Oh, that would give us yeah let's get let's get this and then so let's try to increase our, our lower stats because our perception is pretty high uh, so let's increase our lower stats so we have a better chance at wait what's that I got a shovel okay uh cool yeah they're not happy I'm not happy oh I don't have time okay I have to be out of combat Oh, that was terrible. Uh, that was terrible, Eurus. Said a famous priest died on this rock. Perhaps his mysticism has seeped into it? Well, let's try it. Oh, we get a new spell. Abolish. Lowers Eldritch enemy damage by one, but it costs three stamina. We can always just forget that if we need some reason back. Oh dear, what happened with that, Kev? Wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings on one of the trees, and by the look of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? Alright. What happened, Kev? What? Yeah, Jesus. Oh, come on, man. I. Wait, hold on. I didn't actually get plus two knowledge? I think it, it didn't work. The, uh, hold on. You didn't do it. My knowledge is still five. I guess that's a bug. Fun story from high school. What the hell? Jesus. You have a feeling someone is following you. Well, I mean, we are 70% of the way to the horror. So. Follow the. Oh. Faint sound to a telephone line pole. The moment you notice giant hairy balls underneath it, they start to twitch and rise. Oh, uh, this is what happens if you do No Nut November. This is, uh. This is the end result. It's not worth it, everybody. Listen to me. It's not worth it. Just just, just get it out of your system, okay? You don't want to turn into this. Honestly, I think running from this guy might be worth. Um, how much damage do we do? That is six. That... Uh... <laughs> So this is actually probably our strongest uh, course of action. Yeah, no, no, November. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I have already uh, quote unquote failed it. Um, I think it. I think it actually will be worth. 
<laughs> there we go. See, this shovel is way too strong. How does it feel? It doesn't. Why would you do that? Just, just, just jerk it if you want to. Come on now. Oh, we have our flashlight. So different items can uh, give you different results for specific events. Sudden storm forces you to find shelter in your eye cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave's walls. Exact <laughs> or die hard. Uh, well, you you certainly will do that if you try to do No Nut November. <laughs> Flashlight's beam reveals additional symbols hidden in the shadows. Help you interpret the spell instruction drawn on the cave's walls. The Seal of Bromel. Okay. Must be somewhere here. Oh, thank you. Great. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Alright, here we go. So, last time we just took the cassettes and ran. Because I didn't have the can of acid. But, uh... That gives you a unique option here, so, uh, the rumored witch house seems empty. In the basement, however, you find a camera pointed at the large hole in the ground. On the table next to the camera, you see three cassettes, each titled after the missing friends. Then, you hear a curious sound coming from the hole. You kneel down and lean forward to see what's inside the hole. Takes a while to process what you're looking at. It's a gargantuan eye staring right back at you. Hypnotized, you continue to lean in, feeling weaker and weaker as the giant beast lures you in. Or, we pour acid. <laughs> oh, also we're losing blood. God damn it. Alright, well fuck you. Fuck you, Luigi. You open the can of acid and to empty its contents in the well. The house's foundation shakes as the massive creature's eye burns. Jeez, that's gotta be rough. The walls begin to collapse as you pass out from the toxic fumes. You wake up later with the cassettes in your trembling hand. The witch's house is nowhere to be seen. Yeah, I probably should, but... We're doing alright. But hey, we I didn't know you actually do also get the forest tapes from that. So, if you don't have the cane of acid, you just kind of uh, get lured in, and then and then some random guy, uh, or I guess that investigator, comes in and, like, pulls you back and saves you from falling in. But yeah, this is ending A. Alright, what do we... Uh, ah, dang it. Treatment and surgery actions cost more. Ah, uh, just when I wanted to actually, actually treat that. Great. Great. Let's see, leadership. No, knowledge. Let's go with knowledge. My Lamborghini. Uh, let's boost our covers as well. Sweet. Okay, and then let's get some extra reason back. It'd be nice if you could see how much, like, max reason you have. Like, if you could tell, like, this is 11 out of something. Yeah, knowledge. See, 80% of the way to the horror. Wonderful. Oh, hey, look, it's our neighbor. Probably just my. No, that was your neighbor. They're just saying hi. Uh, okay, so we still don't have any way. So this is like, oh, who could help me with that? I, I don't think there's anything 
implemented for that yet. Uh, let's see. Vicious verses of a violent vigil. Uh, I don't think. I'm trying to remember how to get the B ending. Curious case of a contagious coma. Horrible history of household hell. Oh yeah, we did the. So let's let's try to get the other ending in this. I think. Uh, eh, this should be fine. Uh, received an official-looking letter. What does a law firm from Tokyo want from you? Nothing good, probably. I have to inform you the passing of your our client and your grand uncle. This funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil as per the client's request. Oh yeah, last time I did this, I didn't have room in my inventory and you can't uh, get to your storage. So I, also six, nine, nice. Um, so I was just kind of boned from the moment I started it. <laughs> Uh, address and a list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued, you decide to check it out yourself. What's the worst thing that could happen? Well, you could ask that. <laughs> and nothing good is going to happen from that. Uh, from the directions on the litter, you slowly fight your way through the overgrown forest path. The mansion looks like it was born, torn down and rebuilt many times, but... Where is everybody? Why are we wet? A suspicious person, you enter the rundown mansion. Stinks like spoiled milk. Lovely. Only has two doors, one of which you came through. Can't see the strange man anywhere. Uh, let's search. Oh, we, we have two flashlights now. Dual wield can dual wield our flashlights. It takes some time you manage to find someone. Is that another guest? I should ask them what's going on here. What is happening, bestie? Oh, jeez. Oh, that's so... That's fucking stupid. I'm so sorry about that, Kev. That is bullshit. Oh, my God. Well, I hope, I hope the test... I hope you're able to test out of it. That's just BS. Ay, ay, ay. Jeez. Let's say hi. Okay. This girl man is eyeing you as you take a step towards him. Can't help but notice a dark, a deep scar going across his cheek. Old man's body is a master bedroom. Go there if that's what you want. Alright, well let's explore dimension. Previous owners of this mansion like to read. Dusty tomes reach the ceiling. Don't have much time. Maybe you could spare uh, some to look through the books. Uh, we don't have time for this. You proceed to the next. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, all all feet fetishists uh, here. Y'all are eating good. <laughs> uh, sorry. <sighs> Pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they'd allowed your grand uncle to just lie there. Is the correct bow and clap order? Maybe the other guests will know. Uh, the dilapidated corridor. So now we talk to the other guest and we get a vigil pamphlet. This is what we weren't able to get last time. I swear you've seen the symbol engraved on her necklace before. Get this with a letter. Here, take mine. So now we know. Uh, pray over the body. Bow, 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 bow. Wow. Uh, light up the fireplace. Pray over the body. Okay. All right. So, uh, oh, and you can actually take note of this. Uh, weird symbol tattooed on the man's toe. Oh, intro, yeah. Programming logic course. Programming language course. 
Java a few years ago. Got to skip the logic course. Oh, that's that's a load of baloney. That is so weird. What? What the hell? That is. Ah, uh, jeez. Special lights with RAM. Oh, Microsoft Access. Yeah, what the hell? So bow, 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 bow. Oh! Did you notice that fun detail? His foot did twitch. Oh, XL for databases? Ew. Feel free to share, always. I'm just sorry it was like that. Uh, I, I thought there was a way to access your storage, but not in this mystery, which is perhaps a bit of an oversight. Uh, okay, so we need to. So we prayed over the body, and then next we'll need to light up the fireplace. But we have to pass the hour by exploring the mansion. Startled when you discovered that headless body. You were horrified when you saw its head hanging in the middle of the room and laughing. Oh, hello. Lovely. Oh boy, I love that. Oh, that's... Oh, that's gross. Jeez. Alright, well, let's do one mind drain. And then, and now we can just bonk it on the head. Bonk. Hey, what's that? Oh, wonderful. We got some black hair. Yay. I, I love it. My favorite. Family members are gathered near the fireplace. You can tell everyone is waiting for the dawn. Guests seem strangely uninterested in the vigil. You should explore more and learn what you can. Okay, so next, our next step. So I don't. I'm trying to remember exactly how we get the not quite right ending. I think. I think we do everything, but I think then we. I think. Okay. Let's light up the fireplace. Perception check passed. Spot some dry firewood and add it to the fireplace. Nice. Oh yeah, now that's our max reason. So uh, we'll have to live with that, I guess. Not pretend like we want to be here. Okay, so each each of these people does seem to have the same. Like look. Oh wait, it's different. Okay, uh, they do seem to have some kind of symbol on them. Very odd. Okay, uh, okay, what else do we need to do? Oh, and by the way, you can uh, go to the storage room and get a fun little, fun little thing. Uh, later though. Oh wait, no, we can check out the wardrobe. Meat cleaver! Yay! Anyways, let's get rid of that. Um, oh, stinky. Uh-oh, stinky. Uh, no, it's all good. But yeah, feel free. It, uh, it, it is a little late, so completely understandable. You feel watched. Lovely. I, I love that. Uh, you retreat from the room. Good call. Uh, it's midnight. You should go and pray. 
Uh, okay, so yeah, this is what, so what we're supposed to be doing now is uh, praying over the body. Clap, bow, clap, clap. The body. It's missing. Nobody, 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 body. Ooh, nobody. So what was it? doesn't work. There, there is literally no body here. But yeah, pl please feel free. You don't you don't have to stay up on my account. <laughs> please take care of yourselves. Okay, so we're supposed to uh well oh where is everybody? They fucking booked it. Great. Great, great, great. Investigation can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. Uh, no time. Inviting as it may be, you have more important things to do. Oh, hey. I'm one of the guests. They're shaken. How do I say? Both decide to get the hell out of this place, but the door is gone. Who is it? Oh, it's it's the it's the scar dude. Okay, so 1 a.m., we don't do anything. Just dot, dot, dot. Do. Wow, wow, wow. Round window of the Crooked Manor Tower is calling. Feel your strength drain away as you stare into the bright light. What does force yourself into hiding? Do we have that? Oh, spot an old fallen tree. Was that, um, I think that was only because we have... Quick thinking. Yeah. Uh... Still feeling the natural light on your skin. So when things calm down, you're safe. Nice. Course twist and turn, trapping you in this mansion. You can hear the other guests somewhere, but should you risk getting lost yourself? Alright, let's go to the study, and then we have to... Feed the plant, I think. Yep, feed the plant with blood. Yay! Cut your hand and pour some blood on the soil. Hopefully that's enough. asked you to meet at a certain secluded location. And there you find a telescope with a note it's on you by your friend. The note tells you to look through the telescope. You don't see anything at Earth or at first. Then you notice it. The bloated body of Ath Yolazeth is getting closer. It's too late now. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, that's what I love to see. Other guest is now safe with you. Old building cracks and moves scared of what will come next oh oh boy what is what has happened to us we are not looking great uh-oh uh-oh that you might need a bit of a bit of moisturizer um yeah we are not looking great uh let's see hmm i don't like that okay let's cover the mirror in the storage room Kill them. Oh, and we don't have the option to cover the mirror. Wonderful. Uh, well. Yeah, none of this is good. It was only 92%, wasn't it? Oh, 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 legend about a heartbroken seamstress. On stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guests together. Her final gruesome artwork. That's just a legend, right? So if we raffle through the cupboard, can we get a sewing kit? <laughs> yes, we can. 
Ah, great. We got, uh, so the cupboard, you find a sewing kit. Decide to leave the room before any legends spring to life. Use with the sewing kit. Sewing kit hair. Oh, oh, that's really good. Plus three stamina, plus three reason. Holy shit. Shouldn't you ask a doctor to do it? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, let's resolve this event. Oh, as the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more. Till the walls start to collapse, revealing the shocking truth about your whereabouts. Walls of the corridor collapse, revealing an alien landscape. You taste blood in your mouth as the slimy appendages slowly get closer. A voice in your head tells you what to do. I think if you, like, sacrifice one guest and then car- or Trying to remember exactly how to get the. Let's try sacrificing one guest. And scene force leaves your hands. Reach for a knife and stab a surprised guest. Oh, well, no. Okay, that's not what you do. Because now we have to sacrifice the other one. Uh, now this is the worst ending. Whoops. Oh well. Well, we killed some people, but that's okay. Price is paid. A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the wet grass. The old mansion nowhere to be seen. Standing next to you is a naked, bloated old man. You recognize the tattoo on the man's toe. It's your deceased grand-uncle. Chorus voice, he explains the ritual. Try to keep up with him for your week and your head spins. Death toll must remain the same. To die and to survive. I feel like vomiting as the old man who has cheated death disappears behind trees. Everything gets dark. Yep, that's ending C. No police officers won't believe you when they tell the truth. Do your best to forget the nightmares you left behind. Yay! Oh. What is this? Oh! I don't like that. Crimson Moon, spotted over Shiokawa, keeps everyone on edge. It's too late now! Wahoo! What does that do? Boy, girl, we are. Girl, we are. We are not looking great. Looking good. <laughs> I don't know about that. Don't know about that one, Chief. Uh, okay, nothing weird. Um... Let's see, are there any new uh, TV things? Okay, uh, so we have two more mysteries. We've got the curious case of a contagious coma and horrible history of household hell. Oh, we do have a flashlight, but I don't think it's worth trying to... Ending A in this one is honestly terrible. <laughs> uh... It's on ending C is honestly the best one here because you don't like awaken an old god by accident and then have to sacrifice one of your friends to appease it. So uh, almost the same with this one because you you have to fight a boss if you do. Well, I think we can manage it. More and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People trying to wake the patients up result with them falling into a coma themselves. 
Nothing in the town has been dedicated for the comatose. Is there anything strange connecting these people? Uh, yeah, let's just investigate the village uh, first. But uh, it's too late now. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Uh, let's. Uh, I guess we'll get to see what that does. Oh, <laughs> this one's funny. Walking through the village, you're suddenly pulled behind a building. Two menacing-looking masked figures block your escape. Do you serve the old ones? S serve what? Masked men are visibly puzzled. S Sorry to bother you, says one, and they disappear around the corner. What was that about? <laughs> They're so polite. <laughs> They're like, oh, oh shit. Uh, wrong person. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, we're just gonna go. <laughs> Uh, the most polite cultists I've ever met. Check the news report. Are you gonna do something? Oh, my experience is, uh, not doing great. Do I just, am I just not able to level anymore? Do I just not get any more experience? Is that how this works? That's interesting. Um... Oh, I, I do need to still check the other village location. Unsee- Oh, we have a map, though. Starting to make- Finally locate a safe path used by locals. Oh, yeah, we literally just can't gain experience. That is unfortunate. <laughs> huh. Uh, I was kind of hoping- we would get to see the horror, but I guess it just kind of, I mean, I was hoping it would be kind of like a fight or something, but this is pretty bad. <laughs> this is not great. Uh, not a fan. I do gotta say, not a fan. Possible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. How is this possible? Patient zero. Oh, I can cast one spell without paying anything. Uh, perfect. That is beautiful. Uh, sneak into the hospital and borrow patient zero's information. Pale woman running a nurse outfit stops you. Today we are running a blood drive to help those in need. You look healthy. Will you be so kind and help the community? Uh, let's let's make an excuse. No, no sorry. Uh, I really don't like needles. Fun fact about me. I yeah, I am terrified of needles. Ha 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 ha. Find yourself in an old unused part of the hospital. Take a deep breath. Disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in the room. It must be the hospital's mortuary, where doctors determine the cause of death. I don't know if we always have this option, so let's check out freezer. Get a peek into the freezer. Uh oh. Can't see anything important. I wonder what could smell so awful if there's nothing inside. Nearby, the body on the dissection table twitches slightly. Prepare for combat. The horror of countless autopsies stands before you. Jane Doe. Ah. Oh, you're a ghost. Great. Oh, I hate fighting ghosts. Oh, fighting ghosts is the worst. Oh, I hate it. I think I'm just gonna run from you. Oh, great. I can't. Great. I love... I love this. Oh, I, I love... Oh, oh. Okay, uh, well, we can deal five damage twice, so that's not too bad. So, a long time ago, the only way you were able to beat these is if you clapped and bowed in a exact uh, order, um, which could just take forever. 
So I am still just like very much inclined to not want to fight ghosts, but uh, this seems manageable. Reason's not doing so great. But yeah, we, uh, oh wow. We literally get nothing from combat. <laughs> oh, that is terrible. Huh. Investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. I feel like you're about to fall asleep standing up. Oh, I understand that. Let's buy a coffee. Man dabbled in magic and found a journal. Turning a certain vigil, uh, village instructed for a summoning ritual. Seems he tried to contact a being from the dream realms. I wonder how that went for him. Oh, hear faint sobbing coming from an alley nearby. You approach a man on his knees. Take a step closer, he suddenly stops and perks up. You can hear a nauseating sound of tearing skin. Oh! Oh. Is this keeping me from running too? Oh, that is... That's brutal. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, wow, oh, beans. Cast this one more time. And then we'll bonk him twice. So. We'll take a bit of damage. And our, our reason is, is, is not great. Quanting is guarded uh, closely. Let's find a way to sneak in. Let's, let's rest. Jeez, uh, that is rough. Oi, oi, oi. That is, that is tough to deal with. The patient came home one morning covered in scars and babbling about aliens. The police had them committed, mumbling something quietly as they pa as you pass by. Oh, great. Well, they beat us up. Let's hope you find an answer here. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, this could go really badly. I don't remember what this guy damage is. I think it might be both. I managed to sneak through the floor and avoiding the police and finally reached the quarantine right wing. All the coma patients were brought in. Their pulse is slowly weakening and blood pressure dropping. You must hurry. Well, we're gonna we're gonna try. I am. <laughs> we're not doing great. But we do have a lot of um extra we, we we do have a pretty low percentage of doom to work with so we should be able to rest quite a lot the only thing is we've used uh mind drain so many times so we don't have much reason a uh, much max reason which is not great it's a bit unfortunate <laughs> but let's use the <sighs> yeah let's try it Following the old man's advice, you throw the dust of seeing in the air. Reveals weird, elongated monsters hanging from the ceiling, one above every bed. Each creature is connected to a patient with an undulating tendril. So you try to process everything, one of the disgusting creatures raises its head and looks in your direction. A creature causing the contagious coma plaguing the town is taking notice of you. you. Must defend yourself or perish. Oh, three to all, and it, and it has 40 health, wonderful, I might have to do this, actually, um, let's see if I do that, so I could do that twice, dealing 30 damage. Then cast the spell once. Do I have anything I can throw at him? No. Cast 
the spell once, and then... And then beat him over the- beat him over the head. So, I'm sorry, but I do have to do this. This is- So this is one of those unique options. Uh, you also might notice, these unique options are kind of fucked up a lot of times. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna unplug a patient's life support to damage it. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, how do we want to do this? Okay, clenching your teeth, you start suturing your wound. I want to use this. I think we have to do this again, and then... Alright. Now we should be able to... I took so much damage there, what the fuck? Let's forget that, and then... Let's beat him over the head. And then we should be able to heal. Oh, never mind. I'm so used to leveling after boss fights that I'm like, oh, I'll get to heal my reason. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, that's a really interesting character, though. That is interesting. Connor was the final straw. Your mind has snapped and you've been locked up in an asylum. Would be comforting to accept that you were insane. That no old god is awakening to devour humanity. But the drugs haven't made these horrors disappear. <laughs> Captions! Horrors! <laughs> Captions! Captions! <sighs> that is not what I said. Listen, we, we welcome all the horrors. The horrors, though? Not so great. Horrors. Oh my god. H-O-R-R-O-S. Horror. I can't spell it. H. Fuck me. I'm losing reason in real life. I'm losing the, the very very little reason I had left. God damn it. Okay. Um... Let's try one more time. Let's try to win with her one more time. the seventh curse again. Um, Jay's Louise. Uh, let's go with... She, she does start with a spell, so... Oh, actually, this one wouldn't be too bad, because we're not gonna be able to run from combat anyways once the horror catches up to us. And we're probably not going to want to run before then, because um, we need all the experience we can get. Kathak Atarasu is once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. Yay! Great. Hey, don't get closer. How about that? Okay. 
right, let's load the, the one that we usually do. And then... Okay, so what spell did we... We don't... Oh, okay, that's... Okay, that makes sense. So you, um... Unearthly Suture. Free injury removal. It costs four doom. That makes sense. Um, that you oh, you start with uh, a spell if you take Athiolazets, because that will tempt you into using spells more. But also, oh, yay! What a what a fun neighbor. Uh, Okay, let's grab the extra funds. We have nine funds to start with. We gotta make sure we spend it wisely. Um, Sorrowful Saga of Moonlit Sailors. Uh, let's try to get that new one again. No. No. Oh, there's the bizarre bruit of the blood curdling botanist. Uh, oh, reroll again. Uh, this would be a good one if we do good. Uh, come on, where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, there it is. Oh, there's three endings. Oh, is there? Oh, there's probably just an ending for just booking it. <laughs> just fucking running as quick as you can. <laughs> uh, chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. We don't want to start with this one because we do want to use our funds to like buy weapons and whatnot. Uh, so we want to start with... Oh, we actually do have this. I think we can unlock a new character, possibly. So let's do, let's do this one. Yeah. Uh, remember when it started, the woman next door was strangled to death in her bed. No sign of forced entry. The killer was never found, and the apartment remained vacant. Ha ha ha, that one sounds too, too, too real. Um, from here. Oh. Not great. Um. Wow. Okay. Uh, oh, jeez. That bumps it up real, real quick, huh? Let's go to a hardware shop. Oh, a pocket knife. Oh. Uh, let's go with the crowbar, I guess. Jesus, we're already at 14%. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, okay. No more shopping. Jesus, shopping increases it so much. A uh, ghost of a heartbroken boy appears on this street at night. Just an urban legend, or is there some truth to this tale? Uh, wait an entire night to the spot where it would appear, but nothing happens. Believed it's just a rumor. So this one, uh, let's investigate the hospital twice. I think we need to do that to get, I don't know. Uh, let's try to donate our blood. Oh, nice. Took like they, uh, feel like they took more blood than they should. <laughs> you feel weak, but fulfilled knowing you're helping. It's kind of unfortunate you can't, there's no way to like slow this down. Uh, so it's just a race against the clock. Which, it's interesting. Um, the pile of letters in your mailbox. Let's read them. Oh, great. Oh, I think I've shown off something truly evil before, but... Uh, boy. Uh, that's not great. Ha 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 ha. Display your best efforts. Feel the neighborhood is starting to change. Oh, thanks. Anatomical, uh, anatomical 
Museum archive displays a specimen with elongated arms and jellified bones. Oh, oh. Uh, okay, that's not too bad. Two funds minus one reason. It's not bad at all. Interview the neighbors. Maybe you'll discover something the police missed. Got real cold in the corridor. Turn to leave. You're stopped by a man with unnaturally pale skin and giant lips. Kisses the air as he takes a step closer. Uh... I don't know about that name, Chief. I don't know about that name. Don't know about that name. Some chance, and I miss. You can't. You can. You kidding me? You gotta be. You gotta be pulling my leg. Okay, I beat him up. One neighbor is complaining about her underwear missing. Booba. Anyways. Let's ignore that. You know what kind of a uh, animal the spider caught in its web? Scare away the annoyed predator and rip on it, open the cocoon to reveal a human finger. Oh, but we got a nice ring. Pretty cool. Let's equip that. Oh. Oh. I didn't mean to do I meant to God damn it. I meant to use it. Whatever. Whatever. We just have a bunch of funds, I guess. That we're never going to that we're only gonna use once the horror comes. Uh let's take a cold bath. Maybe we'll get some reason back. Oh, we got some experience though. That's really good actually. That's bad. Examining the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a face hidden in shadow. Something truly evil is getting closer. Ha 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 ha. That's terrible. All right, let's investigate the boiler room. Uh, dark boiler room. Trip over a pipe. Cursing, you find the light switch and gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long rubbery arm coiling around the room, ending in a ventilation shaft. When close, you can smell something vile and rotten. I was gonna say, like, why why didn't the land like why hasn't anyone found this? But like that that just does sound like something the landlord landlord would do. Like hasn't seen it at all. something vile and rotten oh this one's this is fun hey look almost fall to the ground when you see the wide open stare of the dead pervert his elongated limbs stretching and disappearing in the vent's darkness inside his mouth you find a tiny key tiny key boy <laughs> that was there was an attempt when police arrived, the whole building was searched. Following the arms, the detectives find the body of a man stuck in a ventilation shaft. It was identified as the building caretaker. In his closet, police find pieces of underwear and voyeur photos of the tenants. Gross. 
questioned thoroughly and eventually released as the murder case is being covered up as a case of an unfortunate gas leak. Man. That's, that's really... <laughs> They really use that one a lot, don't they? <laughs> uh, let's go for this, and let's let's increase our strength, cause uh, we have a crowbar. Okay, we're cut off from the outside world. Great. Stop receiving radio signal. Actually, that's that's like one of the best ones to get, which is funny. Uh, let's take a bath and get some reason. Okay, uh, oh, but now our TV doesn't work. Rip. Rip the television. Okay, so we got the tiny key. can be used to open certain locks. So, we want, what we want to do here is we want to immediately go for the spine-chilling story of school sewers. Another boy from your school has disappeared. So this is the tutorial, like the, um, this is the tutorial one. This is the, the mystery used for the tutorial. So it's pretty... It is pretty... What am I, what's the word I'm thinking of? Easy, I guess? I was, I was gonna say, like, well-known. It's a very well-known one. It's not my favorite of them, but it's very good. Um, my favorite one is probably the eels. Eels. E-E-L-S. <laughs> Why does captions hate me today? Thank you, captions. <sighs> Another boy has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. One with the widest smile. The sharpest scissors. Oh, nice! That's not bad at all for me. I uh, knew your friend was up to something when he left, to, or he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. And send her back where she belongs, he claimed. He disappeared too. He decided to study the notebook for clues. Details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? Stop asking that! <laughs> you will get answered! This one kind of just tells tells you about this like storage and it. Okay, so we need a weird star thing with like a square. Okay. okay. Left you a notebook. Rumors are true. Stop the tall woman with scissors. You need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Publishing this uh, rich uh, requires first drawing of an eldritch sigil and the lighting of holy candles. I hope your friend left them somewhere around the school. Uh, let's explore the school. The school. <gasps> let's go. So this is the one I wanted. Uh, oh, trophy case. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. The metal seems particularly valuable. Well, we have the tiny keys, so we can open it. Uh, take an odd golden goblet without a plaque. Okay. Constantly cold to the touch. Looks ancient. So now... Now we need to get lucky enough to get pulled into the other world event thing. It, the, I, it, it's very... <laughs> accessing a lot, some of the new characters is kind of ridiculous sometimes uh... oh <laughs> well there we go uh, let's hope we get the right one 
Uh, let's enter. Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. It is not the right one. Ah, well. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Parasitic stars looming over the dying civilization. Is this the fate of our planet as well? Let's enter the destroyed temple. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. That's it. That is... Alright, let's go. Game, we won. We won, gamers. The, the katana is the most broken weapon. Uh, inside the decaying, uh, decaying nave, you find a keepsake from the ancient world. A humanoid skeleton wearing ruined armor. This weapon looks strangely familiar. Uh, additional page from your friend's diary. So blessed chalk was left in the pool. Well. Hello. You shouldn't risk that again. <laughs> so true, bestie. So true. We got the katana already. Let's go. You enter the damp, smelling sport wing. There's a backpack drifting on a school, a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Could that be what you're looking for? To the pool and start swimming towards. Okay, so watch this. Oh no! I do 13 damage on a strong hit. And I do 9 damage on a regular one. It's ridiculous. Like, I can two-shot this guy. I can kill him in one turn. If I get lucky. <laughs> like, look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, the katana is so fucking busted. Okay, let's, uh... Yeah, the katana is ridiculous. Um, let's get some perception, and let's get some dexterity, because we are going to be using this katana for the rest of the run. On the blessed chalk, which can be used to draw the sigil. Okay, so now we need to double check. Almost looks. Uh, the no, no, no. It's this, but then there's a square here. So I need, I need this, but then I need... No. 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 This was it. This was it, I think. It can be a little tough to tell sometimes, but this, this looks like it. Uh, okay, so now we just need the candles. Oh no, not a fight. Anything but that, anyways. 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 <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh. Oh good, a lump of flesh. Just just what I wanted. Just what I needed. Let's put the bandage in the uh in storage. I see these all the time on Grinder. I mean, what? Plus five to stamina, so that's that's pretty good if we need to heal. Um, the rich. Oh yeah, we still haven't found the uh, candles. Oh well, ah, uh, that's unfortunate. The holy candles in your friend's backpack. Put them as instructed. Everything is ready for. Thank you, I'm glad my terrible, terrible jokes. But also, Grinder is a terrible, terrible joke most of the time. <laughs> Wait, what's that? C 
kind of, kind of a babe, I'm not gonna lie. What that mouth do, though? She would be a hoot at orgies. Like, three BJs at once? Throat goat, if I do say so. Anyways. Uh, you take a step back as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a tall, woman-like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. Now is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. Yeah, I will. Yeah, that's probably for the best, Kev. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom. Milkshake says hi. He is being very cute and stinky. But that is a... Oh, yeah. Forgore, I forgore about Tiny. <laughs> oh, no. Anyways. Uh... Oh, it'd be funny if you could just bean her with the diary. Uh... Okay. Oh, what's up, little guy? You're being all wiggly. Do you want to go over on my bed? Uh, I don't think Milkshake knows what he wants to do. Um, yeah, I think our, this is our best damage. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, we only killed her in two turns instead of one. What a shame. <laughs> Oh my god. The katana is ridiculous. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. Find your friend, gravely wounded but alive. Help him and you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. So the woman is gone for good, or is it? You shudder, knowing the urban legend will inspire another kid in another city to try and summon the Eldritch Being. Eldritch. Why do you spell it like that sometimes, captions? That is not how it's spelled. Is there something I don't know? Oh, okay, so that, that means there's like an extra... That one's not too bad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we could actually get another character, possibly. Okay, let's go for Outdoorsman, and then let's keep cre increasing our decks. Actually, no, we should recover our reason. Um, but here I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. We could actually encounter. Oh, never mind. Ah well. Um. God, the katana is broken. But yeah, that that is how a lot of believe me, grinder is worse. <laughs> For the most part, there are still some cool people you can meet on there. <laughs> Oh yeah, you like getting your belly rub, don't you, milkshake? Mm -hmm. Good boy. Here, let me let me give you a let me tuck you in with this blanket. <laughs> Get you nice and cozy. Let's get some extra experience, cause we want to get as many levels as we can before the horror arrives. Oh, we haven't 
I'm... I, hmm. Can't believe we haven't done that. Uh, what do we want to do? I think we're at our best bet to do this one. So let's do this one. Researchers, yep, we just talked about this. But in a newspaper, let's investigate. Uh, okay, we're gonna arrive at the inn. Yeah. Oh. Oh! Okay, so this guy is just guaranteed to be. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, buddy! You got real unlucky, pal. You're, uh. You got the worst matchup, my dude. You, uh... <laughs> Bye! Adios! Oh, and you're weak against it, too. Wonderful. Oh, man. Oh, no. Okay, um... Rest at the inn. Okay. Things we learned here. Knowledge, it's too dangerous. Knowledge. Okay, so we want to look for people. Um, maybe by resting, I think, is what might have. Okay, so let's break into the school. Let's try to let's try to speed run this. Let's try to let's try to save as many people as we can. Uh, good opportunity to check the school's database. Let's do it. Ah, shit. Oh. You find a curious photo conta uh, folder containing photos. With rising horror, you discover you're in each, every, each and every one of them. The last photo shows a smiling man standing over your bed. <laughs> wow! Oh, I really don't like that. You should find the empty classroom Matsuda-san was talking about. These searches are gone. Hopefully the notes will help you find them. Okay, um, the school one took like one time, I think, so let's, is it always going to be like that? Oh, great, we get a curse. Wonderful. I don't like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I still haven't played, I, I've been meaning to go back to that, like, when I do get, like, a new PC. I just, I don't know. I feel bad that I don't have the best, like, it didn't have the best, uh... Oh, a weird bubbling sound lures you to the dark shower room. On the floor, you find a swimsuit thrown over a grotesque, leathery coil. Wait, that's not a coil. Oh! Girl, you, you're not looking good, I do gotta say. You kind of look how I feel some days. Like, this is a big mood right here. Yeah, God, remember when I, I had first started playing that and it was like... The movement was so slow for some reason? That was funny. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, she's just melting. I'm melting. Wicked Witch of the West, kinda. Oh, we found one of them. We found the geologist. Okay, so I think. Uh, so now we need to go to the. the uh, yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> it was so slow. I I don't know what caused it. It was insane. Uh, oh, charisma is not great. I to run? Shit. I decided to run from this Vispin. So you're bang and feel an impact on your shoulder, which quickly turns it into intense pain. Uh, quick, follow them. You're the men, but despite your injury, you managed to lose them behind you. Great, I'm badly bleeding again. 
This keeps happening. Let's see if we can get all of them. Send storm. Let's try to decipher them. You wonder what it could all mean. Okay, we found another one. One more, one more, one more. Uh, check out the village. Come on. You know you wanna- oh shit. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, can I level up in the middle of battle? I can. Uh, Chance to hit 107%. You love to see it. Okay, we got them all. Oh, damn it. Okay. But we found them all. So that means... Oh, but he's probably not going to... Probably won't... Maybe, maybe all of the... All of them will be able to keep him from... God damn it. He still runs out there. You idiot. You fucking dumbass. Okay, so plus one combat damage. Oh! They both just get plus one combat damage. Great! Um... Is there anything else I can do? I don't have any extra. Okay, so I can take these guys out in one turn. Adios. I'm badly bleeding again. God damn it. Stop making me bleed. I don't like it. And goodbye. Oh, thank God. I located an embarrassed Matsuda san. Okay, cool. These ones are bugged, which is unfortunate. Let's get some reason back, actually. Which monster disappears? Kaibara-san, uh, a Kaibara village, group of deeply confused villagers. We're going to be quickly locate the embarrassed Matsuda-san. Luckily, the research team has parked their jeep on a hill, wasn't affected by the flood. Time is the essence. They drive you back to Shiokawa and promise they will alert the government. We hope help will arrive in time. Okay, so that's ending A. Uh, it's not even that different. Man. Uh, it was still interesting, but... I don't know, I was expecting a bit more of a difference. <gasps> no, not the dog! Oh, worst timeline. Friendly dog disappeared last night. Have to find a new place to buy equipment. God damn it. This is the worst timeline. I feel like badly bleeding is not a minor injury. Just a, just a thought. It was so weird. I have I have literally no idea why it was like that. Let's get the bandage. 
I guess, I guess in the grand scheme of all the different things that can happen to you in this game, it's kind of minor, I suppose. But there we go. Um... I guess it's minor in that it won't, like, kill you instantly. It will only kill you... ...less slowly than the other injuries. <laughs> Perhaps. Uh... How many do we have left? Oh, oh two left. Okay, good. Um... Let's do this one first. Uh, Aunt sends you a letter inviting you for a curious sounding festival held every 27 years in a small village. Don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree you need a break from all this stress. Stop asking yourself that! <laughs> why? Why? Why do you keep saying this? What's the worst thing that could happen? Well... You thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore. The janky old bus stops at its destination. <sighs> stop saying, stop, stop asking. What's the worst thing that could happen? Uh, get up, take a deep breath around before looking around. Small village, nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. That man wearing dusty overalls approaches you. It's the inn owner. Promise to pick you up. Going close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are so deformed they resemble claws more than hands. It's not very nice. We can actually check out the room. But this is pretty cool. Look at this! Let's check out the painting! Uh, let's pull for studies. Something moves in the painting. There's a hole in it. You spied on from the nearby room. Worried and furious about the hole in the wall, into the room from, into from the back, trying to find the room that connects with yours. When you finally found it, you enter and scream. Ew! Gross! 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 Die! 135% chance to hit. The katana is so fucking broken. Let's put this into perspective. Let's put this into perspective. The pistol that you can acquire from a cop's corpse does 9 damage on shot. So that requires having a bullet and then you also get the Ringing Ears debuff that lowers your combat actions for the rest of the mystery once you do shoot. This does 9 damage on strong hit. And it costs you nothing. It's ridiculous. Anyways, perish. Oh, we found a mask. That's right. Sound it is it, it the the katana is so fucking OP. It's ridiculous. If you get a katana, that's basically the run over at that point. Like it is <sighs> super super crazy. Mm. Three headed figures standing at the forest's edge. Yeah. Uh, they were strange masks. So I think. Let me see. So, uh, that was the wrong one. I didn't want to do that. I want to. This is what I wanted to do. So I think. Ah, oh, Jesus. fine we we i i want to do this i think there's a uh it's okay we're gonna get that yeah oh well um
make something awakening next dawn. Lock the entrance to your room with the nightstick. Uh, I was hoping, so I think you can buy, I, I was hoping you could buy the robes as well, because I think that gets you an achievement, but, oh well. Ah, investigating stream. <laughs> I hope all of you are enjoying investigating my stream. That sounded kind of dirty, actually, never mind. Or maybe that's just my, my brain being terrible. Anyways, let's let's kill this person. Murder. Easy peasy. Okay, let's check out the forest. Uh, see, this is what I needed. I needed the ritual robe. Wow, I failed my strength check. That sucks. Oh, dear. Hmm. Hmm, that's not great. It's not very good. That is, uh, pretty bad. Trail of blood and sickly smelling sludge leads to the uh, to an outskirt of the village. Somewhere in the dark forest, there's an answer waiting for you. Ooh. The, the weather is also being spooky. Get a grip. Oh no, shit. I could have gotten long. I think I can. I think that one can. No, no, maybe not. What the fuck? You're kidding me. I've never seen this. Hold on. Let me see if I can show it. It's not showing. Hold on. Let me let me show it. Uh window capture. Look at this. What the fuck? It just crashed. <laughs> God damn it. Uh it's probably something new. With the... Uh, <laughs> that is unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, well... Well... I mean, I was getting tired anyways, I guess. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can try to raid somebody. Let's see if it'll actually goddamn work. Why didn't my raid thing work last time? That was so weird. Um, oh, somebody's playing Perret Amheru. Uh, oh, I don't know them very well. I don't have, like, tags that I would trust, but... Yeah, it didn't work last time for some reason. I, like, tried to, and it just, like, didn't do anything. It's very confusing. Uh, let's see... Who? Let's see if anybody... Uh, oh, Lolotov Cocktail is playing Dwarf Fortress. That's always fun. Let's let me see. I I can always raid into into her, but let me see if there's anybody else I want to raid into. And of course, if anybody has any recommendations, and e even if we don't, even if the raid doesn't work, we're gonna just like I'm gonna post the. <laughs> I don't know why it's being it was being so weird last night. <sighs> Boo. Let's hope it works this time. Um, brrr, 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 brrr. 
So ne my next stream will probably be on Sunday, I want to say. Um, it definitely won't be tomorrow, because I am working till, I think, like 8 tomorrow. Uh, and I, I think I will be working. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. Um... <sighs> Still a little bit eh, but I am I'm making it. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't work last time. It was so weird. Um But yeah, thank you, thank you, yeah. Uh let's let's see. Uh I have two options I'm thinking of. So we do have Lolotov cocktail, but we also actually I think I'm gonna read into Somnia Viti because uh they are doing an emergency donothon. Uh, they're playing Resident Evil Village. Uh, I think we've raided into them before. Let's see if my raid thing will actually work this time. <laughs> please, 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 OBS, please. Please work. Please. Oh, geez, I have an 18-month sub-anniversary with them as well. Um, but yeah, I really, I highly recommend uh, Somnia VT. They're very cool. Very poggy. Poggy, Poggy Woggy, Pog Champ. Thank you. There we go. Captions could not understand my, my cursed language. There, there we go. Why was it so weird last time? It literally wouldn't do that last night for some reason. But yeah, um, thank you everybody for coming for to this. Us again somewhat impromptu stream um oh maybe because it's been so long i'm thinking maybe i'll do fada morgana on sunday god it's been a while since i played that <laughs> i need to play that more um because we're like pretty close to the ending of that i think and i've kind of just left it on a cliffhanger for way too long i apologize for that but yeah, thank you everybody for coming. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope everybody has a good, t a good, uh, whatever time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, I I can try to refresh you guys when we if we do start that. But yeah, let's uh, let's raid on into Somnia. Do they're doing some Resident Evil Village. So uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh... <sighs> Hi, Jess. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. No. I'll, I'll be streaming Sunday, so I'll try to. Hi, Jess. Uh, bye. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs>